just we could go here. I just start taking pictures, holding it steady, and we can see that it captures now frames. Then it analyzes the photo. And it gives me hints on areas that I can animate. So if I tap that, for example, or maybe that one, no, I prefer that one. That's my initial choice. But then I can start freezing movement. For example, if I want to make him still, I just draw on top of him. And I activate this lady here. And that's the eye over there and freeze the frames. So that's a really cool way of adding some movement to your photos and you can even apply effects to boost the colors or make it look different. And then you can even control um, the fastness of the movement. So that's very nice. You can make it very slow or very fast. I have some other examples as well here. This, for example, the guy is frozen, but the sea is moving. It's very nice. Kind of more settled. Or in here, only the ball is moving. So very nice. Yeah, and it works in uh, any any modern browser because it's a, a GIF, GIF um, file. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.